Okay, we're in the basement of Georgia Avenue. I'm going to start down here because I don't feel like going upstairs and back down. But it smells really bad down here. It looks like there's some water, so it might it probably needs the French drain. But this could be finished off. Nice ceiling height. Um, two windows in this back room, bedroom. We got the laundry room, hot water heater. There's the sub pump. So you already got that there, but definitely some water. We got another hot water. So this looks like a newer hot water heater. Um, big furnace. It's got all the duct work. Um, furnace might even work. It's a ream, which is good. That's what our type our guy Will uses. Humidifier on it. But so you got like a family room here down in the basement, and you got put a bedroom here. Actually, I guess this would be the family room and you could put a door there to go into that bedroom and also just finish off this part and have another door go into this bedroom and just leave this unfinished. There's storage under the stairs. So, it's a, it's a ranch. There's three bedrooms upstairs. So you can make it into a five bedroom house with a living room and a family room in the basement. Um, nice big kitchen. That's what people are looking for these days. So this is nice. Obviously, you have to gut it and redo it. And you first walk in, here's the living room. Nice big living room. Hardwood floors. I would just sand them down and do a darker stain and then polyurethane them. Nice big bathroom here. The bedrooms are a nice size, too. This would probably be one of the smaller ones, and it's a decent size. This is one of the larger rooms. So you need new windows, probably new doors. New windows, new interior doors, new exterior doors, Car carpet the basement. New light fixtures. It's another nice size room. So it's got two pretty big rooms up here and then a medium size room. And you got two more bedrooms in the basement. That just goes to storage. You get this addition on the back, which could be a, a dining room or sunroom, eating kitchen. Um, I, don't know. I would almost, um, you could put siding on just this part of the house and just maybe put one window there and maybe two or three windows there and then one window over there. This way it's more like um, living space. Um, maybe put pergo floors back here for the um, to make it more like a dining room. Got a nice yard. Looks like there used to be a pool. The fence is about, know, about five, six feet past the bottom of those stairs. Nice peaceful yard. Um, the only thing is you are kind of close to Annapolis Road or 648. Looks like there's even a commercial building to the right of you. Um, and then, then you're right on it. A commercial building across. It's quiet out here though. So this would be the negative. I would put the privacy fence there to separate you from this commercial part. Nice big driveway though. That's what we didn't have at Tennessee Avenue, is the parking was tight over there. Here you could put four or five cars in here. Siding, I would paint the siding. You can see that's, that's a, actually a nice street. Georgia is probably a nicer street than Tennessee also, because you're getting further away from Patapsco Avenue. But. Pretty nice street. Looks like the roof is newer. So right now they're asking 130 for this. You can get it for 115. It really doesn't need that much work. Um, I think you could definitely sell it for uh, 199. 
you know, maybe on the low end, maybe uh, 180, and the high end, maybe 210.